Hey guys, it's Drew the Cooch Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to show you a box of gold that we got from a subscriber. Just a really nice group of quarter eagles. Let's get this video started. So over the years of uploading on YouTube, showing you guys interesting coins that we get in every single week, we get a lot of subscribers that reach out to us and want to sell us coins. Last week, we were reached out to by a guy named David. He ended up sending us some quarter eagles, two and a half Indians, and then he ended up also sending us some cool raw coins that we're going to send in for him from a PCGS sub. And the way that it kind of worked was that he reached out to us, sent us some really good photos. A lot of these coins are really nice, premium quality pieces. And so we wanted to take some time today. We wanted to show you guys some really great looking coins. A lot of us, you know, we like to buy Morgan dollars or Peace dollars and sometimes it's just good to look at a different series possibly and get your take on it as well. And so we're going to spend some time today, show you over $6,000 worth of gold coins and we hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video because I wanted to show you some really nice high-end commems that we ended up sending into PCGS for imaging for a customer and now he allowed us to show you guys these coins they're just really pristine coins that are very tough to find in that grade and it goes to show you a lot about the commemorative series and how much it is appreciated so enjoy that as well all right guys the first one i want to show you is this 1910 two and a half indian great mint state 62 i'm guessing the collector sent all these into cac to see if they would pass some did some didn't but they're all a little bit more expensive than some of the common dates Next one we want to show you guys is this 1911 two and a half Indian. Nicer color on this one for sure. Better detail. When these coins get up to mint state 65, they get really, really expensive. But as far as getting a nice two and a half Indian in 62, I mean, these come pretty easy. There are some difficult dates that we're going to jump into in this video though. This is a 1911 also, great mint state 62. Maybe he just wanted a date set from each grading company and he thought one would pass a CAC and one, maybe one wouldn't pass a CAC, but I guess both the 11s just didn't pass. Still really nice coins though. Up next is this 1913 two and a half Indian. So this one has just over 700,000 that were minted. It's great mint state 63 CAC, just a pretty nice coin overall. I think one of Seth Chandler's best things that he works on is just knowing how to grade gold because gold can be very sophisticated and tough to understand. And he said that I, he used to walk through shows and pick off dealers and just know how to grade gold better than them. And that's where he made a lot of his money on the coin collecting days before he was a coin dealer at a shop. We have this 1914, two and a half, great mint state 62 CAC. This one's important because it has just over 240,000, actually right at 240,000 that were minted. This mintage is right behind the strong D two and a half, which is the key date of the series. And just getting this coin with the CAC sticker is very, very tough. And this one we're considering probably just sending to CAC G and seeing if they cross it over as a legacy coin. Then we have the second 1914, two and a half. Great Mint State 62 also. So you guys are seeing a little bit of a trend here. Two of each date almost. And this one didn't pass. But if you take a look at the coin, I think it's just really, really nice. The next coin I want to show you guys is 1915 two and a half Indian. Great Mint State 62. I was having a conversation with the collector today just talking about how tough CAC is on most gold pieces. I think they just have a different grading standard when it comes to them. I think PCGS and NGC differ from what CACG thinks of the grades and how they should be presented. Overall though, just a really gorgeous set of two and a half Indians. Let's show you two new purchases also in this video. So this is a 1926D piece dollar, very mint state 63. The luster's phenomenal, has a few little toning spots here and there, but overall a really nice gorgeous piece. And the last coin I want to show you is this 1943 Walking Liberty Half Dollar Grade Men's State 63. It's in a Rattler holder. Has subtle toning on the coin. And I want to thank you guys for taking a look at all of our new purchases. 
All right, guys, so the first coin I want to show you is this Hudson commemorative half, Mint State 66 CAC, just a phenomenal coin. A lot of these commems are just so tough to find, especially in this grade. And, uh, you know, a collector let us show these to you guys, so it's just a real honor to be able to give you guys the little bit behind the scenes of them. Like I said, he was trying to get a true view on all these coins, and uh, the true views actually look pretty good. They had to take photos through the plastic on these at PCGS. This is 1923S Monroe and Mint State 66 CAC. Has a little bit of gradual toning across the whole coin. A lot of these come 63, 64s, and this one's just a gorgeous 66. He's developing that, that set, and uh, the set is looking awesome. So we have this 1936 Bridgeport, rated Mint State 67, CEC approved. What's your guys' favorite commemorative design? Let me know down below. But uh, Bridgeport's kind of interesting. Especially just, uh, you know, I think they come a little bit easier. They come 66, 65. So I think the collector that's buying these coins are is probably buying the step up. And this is a 1925 Stone Mountain commemorative half. It's graded Mint State 67. Uh, I think the best one I've ever had is Mint State 66. Just a true hard coin to find. And a lot of these, you know, it has big open fields on the Stone Mountain. So most of the time there's hits or scratches or you know kind of some rub on the obverse over the stone mountain or on the horse and this one is just really nice problem free surfaces original haze probably from where it was housed from the mint next one is this 1926 sesquicentennial commemorative half grade mint state 65 plus this one i mean i've never seen a gem sesquicentennial before and this one has some really nice rainbow toning, kind of hugging the rim of the coin. It's a really deep coin, has it feels like it's just really deeply struck. And a lot of these have just major issues on the face, most times scratching or a weaker strike. And this one is just phenomenal to look at. And I could see why he paid the big bucks to kind of buy these for his set. Um, most people aren't registry set people. But that's okay. I wanted to show you guys some coins that just you don't get to see every single day. So this is a 1937 Roanoke, graded Mint State 67 plus. It is CAC approved also. It's got some rim toning right by the bottom of the coin by six o'clock. And you just take a look at this coin. How problem free it is, how original looking it is. I mean, what's not to love about these commemoratives? And the last one I want to show you is some, it's a coin that comes pretty easy, but this one in 68 comes pretty tough. Um, you know, most of the time, you know, Columbia's, they show up in 67, 66, and this one's a 68 CAC. It has gorgeous, you know, kind of rim toning still, mostly original, no issues on the coin, and just a phenomenal coin right here. And so, thank you guys for letting us take a look at these coins with you. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins we presented today. Did you learn a little bit from the two and a halfs? Did you learn a little bit from the commems? We want to know all that down below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. We're coming out with them every single week and we want you to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.